Hey guys, stop taking my my hand wave thing. That is mine. <laughs> so hey, we're uh, we're playing Mario Maker, and today we're gonna be playing through one of Nathan's levels, and I'm gonna break it, and then Nathan's going to uh, cry, cry, and then describe the design process that went into it. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. For the record, he is not going to break it. He's Watch me. Going to break. I will break you. Apparently, since the new iteration of of this level came up. No one has beat it. So, yeah. That's a you, problem. You that had is... an early iteration of this that I played, and you uploaded it, too. Um, does it blow up? Does it blow up? Yes! That's everything I wanted. Thank you, Nathan. That was one of my feedbacks. Yep. Um, so, he, yeah, he uploaded... So the concept behind this battle is that it's a boss battle. Um, and basically... Oh, damn it already. Shit! Shit! Oh, he's on a cloud. He's <laughs> on a cloud. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, so it's a boss battle, right? Like you, the idea behind it is that you have to kill Bowser before you can you can pass. Um, so it's actually kind of fun. I I haven't played a lot of levels like this. I know some people incorporate it into their level design, but I don't know. Generally, they're too hard. This maybe this is also too hard. I'm not this, sure. This turned out apparently to be a lot harder than uh, I I thought. Like I still have Oops. some problems with it, but I didn't think that it, it was, was unbeatable. Yeah. Well, consider you only had five unique players. Damn it! I yeah, that's I true. Was, I don't I, have a lot of. But that's kind of the problem. Is I think if, that they're not beating it, therefore they're not putting stars into it, and therefore it's not getting seen very much, and people aren't playing it. Yeah, I'd actually really like to know how um, Mario Maker's like. I don't know metric Analytic. SEO system works. Like, yeah. not that I'm looking to abuse it, I just, I'm curious, from a game designer perspective even, um, how they handled that. Because if it's based on stars, is that really fair? Because then... It's a steamroll. Exactly. Basically. I mean, that's why... I... Oh, you're dead. Oh, That's right, can't jump on Bowser. Can you do the twirly jump off You of cannot. I was, yeah, I was surprised. I, I tried it like 800 times just to make sure you cannot do the uh, the spin jump on Bowser. I, I... Is that a GL? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Oh. I totally would have made it like one, one little square lower and then hit a secret up there or something. Could. Too easy. I, yeah, a little too easy once they find it, if it's actually yeah. a useful secret. It would get exploded, and if it's not a useful secret, it kind of begs the question of why that early in the level... Well, do. consider, maybe you gave him, gave the player, like, a flag, or a cape a flag. Maybe you give them a cape, right? Mm. Like, it's not really useful because the space is too compact, but it allows you to take an extra hit. You would be surprised how useful the cape is. That's fair. You could give him a mystery mushroom. That actually allows that's, you to. That's fair. It gives. It's basically like getting a double mushroom in that sense. Or does it? Oh wait, no, it doesn't. It's just a. It's mushroom. It's just a costume, that's but right. it allows you to be smaller, which in this instance could be useful. Yeah. Could be useful. I actually do a lot of duck jumps in this, so. Oh, that's fair. That would definitely do pretty much the same thing. It just requires a little bit more. Damn it. Well, with, with yeah, like you're less you're less limited if you uh, don't have to do a duck jump. All right, so you got past phase one, which is eliminating the uh, <clears throat> wrench throwing guys. So I, his first iteration of this, I broke it because I escaped without killing Bowser, which I knew was a possibility, but uh, I tried it and I thought it was harder than beating Bowser, which and I you, disagreed. You disagreed completely. Okay, so you changed it. So he used to have a destructible path. Damn it. Yep. No! Fuck you, Bowser. Bitch ass. Very nice. So phase one in this, definitely... Uh, oh, what? Usually he doesn't get you if you're ducking right there. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, 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 I feel bad for you. Maybe you stood up too early? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you got the prawn plant. I, I, you got the, you got the, the prawn plant. Hey, I think there was a piranha plant there. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent, but 
So the difference between this this level and a lot of other levels is yes, it's compact, but it's it's I tried to design it to still feel like an actual like level of Mario. Uh, I think my average play time for it is like a minute, a minute and a half, something like that. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Try it. Go for it. You got this. Oh, try again. So I need the cloud. Yep. Bam! I told you! Nathan was all like, I don't think there's a way to design it to force the player to kill Bowser. Well, the cloud and a balloon were obvious issues. The problem is balloon, he automatically chases you down, and so he pins you down, and then you die. There's nothing you can do. Mm, which, the cloud, I'm sort uh, of running into that a little bit, but since he never goes lower... That's exactly it. But see, if you're ever wondering about the bullet bills and why those are necessary, because yes, they do definitely make the level harder, because originally the bullet bills were not in it. Um, if you don't have the bullet bills in the level, then it, the, there is actually no point to the level at all, because Bowser does never will interact with you, because you just be under him the whole time, and all you'd have to do is jump, grab bombs, and hit him with them. Oh, okay. And so there would never be a challenge to the level, but with the bullet bills... It forces you to jump. Yep. Huh. And then at that point, yeah, you can sit there and avoid hit them and just throw bombs at them. But it might just be easier, you know, yeah. going for the fire flowers. Though arguably the wrench guys force you to jump too, but... Uh, they only last for so well, long. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> there goes that. Don't play defensive, apparently. I was, so I actually was hugging the left side of the screen in hopes that it wouldn't provoke Bowser, which was half true. Yeah. Um, he never came by me, but he still spat fireballs, which is almost worse. It was a uh, pain in the ass when designing that last part because uh, the last thing I did was add sound and stuff to the level because like that was just it's polish. polish. Um, no offense, Eddie, our sound guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it! Whatever. So, uh, so yeah, that was the last thing I added in. But the problem is like the only way to like. If you set it to where when you hit a location, uh, um, a song begins, like the one you're hearing, mm -hmm. um, the problem is once you go so far away from that that trigger, mm -hmm. it goes away. And so it'd be like, -da 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 -da, and you take a couple steps forward, and it would just go back to regular cave music. Yeah, uh, we were trying to figure that out when we were making the level flow stuff. Yes, so what you have to do is you have to actually put the sound on the bad guy themselves. Oh, uh, and then the music clever. goes away when they die. Oh, that's so smart. Ha. You were yeah. onto something there. <laughs> Doing a back back jump. Back flip jump. It's me, Mario. Um, so yeah, first phase basically get rid of the wrench guys down below. Uh second phase uh is optional. It's getting rid of the piranha plants. Mm -hmm. Um Which then... you can actually um get the fire flower without killing them now, which I thought was an interesting modification. Yes. Well, that was embarrassing. Um, you got hit by a wrench. Is that what it was? Uh, nah. <laughs> Watch. The way we're going to end this episode is I'm going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not even going to get that mushroom. I'm just going to kick Bowser's ass just bare knuckles. You can try it. That's totally fine. Um, it's hard. It is Bowser's hard. got a lot of health. Yes. It takes a very long time. Help. What a, what a jerk. Sometimes the Bowser AI is just mean mean as hell sometimes he is useless oh. you had it and then you died so what happened no actually retrospect that was still a bad idea i thought i was going to like jump off slip just before bowser but he actually moved and then moved back sooner than i thought right yeah. yeah and and i i actually landed on the platform i didn't just go straight down which uh there you go so that it's that first wave of projectiles that is really difficult, but at the same time, oh, very nice. But at the same time, it's your first attack that is often the most effective because that sets up the kill. So now you're past phase one. Uh, whoop, throw. Whatever, man. That was ruined for you. Uh, so after that, the piranha plants are like optional. Like everything is optional technically, mm -hmm. but the piranha plants are the less, probably the least threatening thing on the field. Um, but they do add a challenge for when you try to grab the fire flower. So the concept is destroy the get, uh, destroy the wrench throwers, uh, then destroy um, the the piranha plants, then get the uh, blow up the blocks to get the fire flower. Well done. Ah, but but duck jump. I did do the duck jump. You did. That's what I'm saying, but you did it. Why'd you get hit? 
Oh, 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 pro. 360 no scope. All right, so now you'll see that the arrows are telling you that you should move, that, that something has to be done above you. Get out of here. And you'll notice that there are, oh, you broke my level. Don't know. Whew. Shit. Huh. Damn it. Whatever. Eh. Can you can you get out? Cause this can be. You can do it. There you go. Yeah. Huh. And then now you begin battle. And now you uh, lost do the firefly. Do things the hard way. Yep. At least now I don't have the uh, fire from the fire flowers to deal with. Which I believe they're still in range from here. Yeah. You mean the piranha plants? That's what I meant. Yeah. I mean, uh, that one up there would be shooting at you. Now you're in real trouble, because you're out of upgrades. Ah. Uh, but, play patiently, good. play it carefully, you'll be fine. <sighs> it was smaller than of a jump than I thought. That's the key. I think that jump is basically the key for this level. Um, it's weird. You because you don't does? jump tall enough to, to hit Bowser with it. Um, the only downside is that you're gonna blow up the bombs when you, you hit them. You don't, actually. What? Yeah, jump on. Boom. You, what? You, like, super shoot it. Throw it. What? Yeah, man. They changed it. They changed a few things. There was, a uh, that, that one where, like, when you, when you do that, 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 uh... Get the fuck out of your buzzer. Mmm! 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 <laughs> <laughs> You were saying they so, changed a few things. Yeah, they changed that. The uh, there was there were a few creatures that like when you would spin jump on, you would normally just like bounce off of them, but now you get hurt. Um, Bowser being one of those. Oh, oh, by the skin of your hat. And I don't even understand how that one worked. <laughs> Bear collision. I don't think bears had anything to do with this. They have everything to do with this! Woo! Oh. Oh. Woo! Oh. What up, bitch? Whatever. Whatever! Just, wow, just <laughs> throw me- it. Oh my god! <laughs> he moves so quickly! <laughs> yeah, man, sometimes it, it, the He's AI just like, I'm not letting you leave! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever, I can beat it. I'm a, I'm a pro Mario player. I mean, if you want to give up. No. I'm a pro Mario player. Pro Mario player. I think you're just a little too obsessed with the uh, spin jump now. Ooh. Or just right. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So... so I don't feel so. <laughs> that part down there, right there with the. I put the three coins, so like it was like a way of like showing the player, hey, there's something here. And then mm. when they come around, they can actually connect that it's the same location. Um, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> that was, I don't want to <laughs> all aboard the fail to talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. Today's captain is Christopher Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one more, and one then I'll more. let you play. That's fair. But only one more. <laughs> one goddamn more. I'm gonna laugh really hard when I try it, and I just, like, die immediately, do way worse than you did. Probably will. It's very possible. <gasps> this is not one of the levels you should expect to get done in the first try. <laughs> if you do, I will be seriously impressed, and, you know, honestly... Probably, Probably a, or something. Yeah, badass Mario player at that point. But it, I mean, that's ah, fuck. That's part of the charm of of the level, right? Like, it's not designed to be easy. It's more for the. <gasps> it's more for the advanced players. <laughs> I'm not an advanced player. So boom, allow the player to see where they're going to eventually exit. So, in the early iteration, I gave you a lot of shit for having a lot of transitions. Um, yeah, you did. Um, while you still have 
all of them? Nope. No, you have one less. Oh, because you used a door. Okay, yep. so you remove, you reduced your transitions by one. Um, that door used to be a pipe, so you had to go oh. back up to the mainland, main, the above ground, not the mainland, um, before you could go down and start the boss battle. And I, I suggested, why have any pipes at all? Why not just start in the caves? Um, and Nathan made the point that he wanted to kind of like show what the boss battle was about before it started and give the hints that there were the fire flowers um, at the top of the level. Which, oh, how did you do that? I, that's what I was saying. I felt, I'm, I was like, I'm sorry you got hit there. You shouldn't, oh. I guess if you're like on the very side of the screen. Hmm. Um, but either way, I oh, think, no. I think your, your iteration is actually pretty solid in comparison to your first because yeah. while you still have a lot of transitions, it doesn't feel as, I don't know, it doesn't feel like there's as much because A, it's cleaner. I actually feel like it just is, it's not as messy. It feels more polished, which makes it feel like I'm spending less time in it. I, I know that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but I think it has everything to do with how much attention it's requiring me to have. That's fair. When you have a lot of stuff going on and you have very chaotic environments, um, it it taxes the user's attention or the player's attention, um, and that's a legitimate psychological thing too. Oh. So I think cleaning it up and actually polishing it, it even though it doesn't change the gameplay, it makes it feel better designed. Which is kind of crazy, all things considered. It sort of incentivizes people to pol put polish into their levels. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Which I always think is important. Like, I'm not... I don't think polish is something you should just do if you have time. I think it's something that you should do before you publish anything. Um, oh! I like that you removed the clouds. Now I see what you were going for with that. So before he had little clouds beneath those pillars that are holding the fire flowers um, and the idea was that you had to blow up the stones before you could get a fire flower right um, which made sense but at the same time um, it I don't know so, a it was a little weird to have the cloud right but see the B, cloud with the two right there I'll explain that uh, in a sec but oh okay yeah hey special I, sound I wanted to move because a cloud will disappear over time if you don't uh, get moving um, <laughs> Ooh, what does this do? Oh, yeah, a little bonus. All right. Which those, it might feel arbitrary to throw a one-up in your level, um, but it actually is important yeah. for the, like, the 10 level or the 100 Mario um, thing. Have you played that? Oh, yeah. No, that's actually why I did it. I figured you, they're probably, it's 100 Mario. You only do, 10 Mario is, like, designer ones. 100 Mario is for the players. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, that was my incentive was just, like, I'll give you something because you probably lost, like, 10 lives. And that's that's why I added a shitload of 1-ups mm -hmm. in that secret area in my level that I uploaded mm -hmm. because that's the only real re reward you can give players in, in Mario Maker levels. I mean, you can throw a bunch of coins in it just to the bonus of getting mushrooms, but you can only get a total of three mushrooms per run through. Like, so even mm -hmm. if you get a hundred, it doesn't matter. Um, which is funny, because I've seen, I've gotten like a hundred and one level before, because the person was like, it doesn't matter! <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yep. Um, so that was it. Uh, that little cloud with the two on the right side, basically, that was like a little, not, it's not really hidden, but it's a little Easter egg saying like, hmm, what's it's, gonna come? Yeah, it's like, <clears throat> oh, maybe this is what the next theme will be. Yep. Um, with the insignia of like the the three by three kind of like grid, because like the first one was uh, a bomb inside of uh, eight bricks, mm -hmm. so it was like that's like its little insignia for the stage, so to say. Um, so yeah, basically that's the level. That's the level. Cool. Well, uh, we'll have the 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 code for the level right. Bam. There. And. <laughs> And in the description, too. <laughs> so give it a play, uh, and yell at Nathan for his mean design. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You had it coming. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's not like some other levels out there done by certain designers that, like, literally you just die. Like, this stage starts, and you just fall off the edge and die. Yeah, that's You see bullshit. everything coming. I try to give fair warning. That no. way... You've that got, way, when you die, you deserved it. Even though, <laughs> even though it's it's very short and the boss battle happens almost Im almost immediately, you actually do have a little bit of buildup. 
Yeah. So that's good. And uh, the whole thing with the transitions, there's actually as many transitions as there would be for most of their levels. Because you would transition from one area, and then you would transition out of that area, back into the first area. Yeah, but I mean, it feels different when they're back to back. That's fair. You're back to back. Thanks, buddy. Mm, no problem. <laughs> Play my level. <laughs> Play his level, let us know what you th thought of the episode, and uh, stay tuned for some more. We're going to keep doing some Mario Maker stuff, so thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye. Mm. Jeez, Louise. <clears throat> Leave Louise out of this. That bitch. <laughs>